hello. Today I'm going to be talking about something that's near and dear to my heart, and that's elastic. For me, elastic has single-handedly changed the way I live my life. It's allowed me to get dressed every single day. And getting dressed every day makes me feel really good about myself. It gives me a lot of energy and just puts me in a great mindset for the rest of the day. It's so tempting to just want to stay in your pajamas or your sweatpants all day, especially this past year where you might not be going as many places as you used to be. Even if you have jeans with like 5% spandex, it's still not as comfortable as sweatpants or leggings. Now that's not to say I don't have any standard jeans uh, or pants with buttons and zippers because I do. But I like the freedom and flexibility of knowing that I can get dressed and look good without having to resort to those standard pairs of pants. Over the past several years, I've obtained a number of really high quality elastic pieces. And now I have way more elastic bottoms in my closet than I do standard um, pants and jeans. Elastic is also great for fluctuating sizes. It's forgiving and it can allow you to get dressed over the course of multiple years without having to buy new clothes. So you can invest in a really nice pair of silk trousers, for example, and you can be pretty confident that you, you'll be able to wear them for a few years down the line. Elastic also works great for pregnant or postpartum bodies. I've had two kids now. I'm one year postpartum for my second baby and I've been wearing the same elastic pieces by Elizabeth Suzanne for like three or four years now. Now that I'm pretty much back to my pre-pregnancy body, I still find myself wearing all of these elastic bottoms because why would I ever return to normal pants? They're just so comfortable. Even before kids, I never wanted to wear jeans every day. Now here's what I look for when it comes to elastic bottoms. For me, I like a thicker waistband, at least two or three inches. Most of my Elizabeth Suzanne bottoms have a two inch waistband. To elevate the look of elastic bottoms, I think it's really important to try to look for high quality fabrics. So I'm talking silk and linen and thicker linen specifically so that it doesn't get all wrinkly as soon as you put them on. Choosing high quality fabrics is key for me. It makes you look more expensive and more put together without really having to try hard at all. If your budget doesn't allow for new silk and linen bottoms, definitely try secondhand online shops like Poshmark. All of my Elizabeth Suzanne bottoms except for one I, um, I bought secondhand actually. For pants, uh, try experimenting with different cuts. For my body type, I typically gravitate towards wide leg and uh, straight leg bottoms. For skirts, I also stick to straight styles. I prefer a midi length or something that can show off my calf and my ankle. I think that's just a really slimming look. And maxi skirts tend to look a little too frumpy on me. Now I'll talk about how to style these different elastic items. To make your outfit look less sloppy and more expensive, I love to mix and match my fabrics. So I spoke a little bit earlier about silk and linen and I love to combine uh, those two fabrics. The main fabrics I stick to are silk, linen, wool, and cotton. My next tip is a general style tip that I follow even when I'm not wearing elastic pants or skirts. And it's that I like to wear the same color from head to toe. For example, if I wear all creams and whites from head to toe, I just think I automatically look much more chic and sophisticated and like I know what I'm doing. My third tip for how to style elastic is to work on balancing your top and your bottom. So for example, if you have a flowy skirt, I like to balance that with a tight-fitting top. And then the opposite is also true. If I pick a form-fitting trouser, for example, I'll try a more boxy top to tuck into that or maybe a slouchy sweater. Number four, and this is the most important piece of advice, and it's to tuck in all your tops. To me, nothing is more chic and flattering than tucking in your tops and showing off your natural waistline, which is um, oftentimes the narrowest part of your figure. It just gives your outfit a more tailored and polished effect and automatically makes you look a thousand times more chic. Now, if you really don't like the look of, of an elastic waistband and you think it looks too sloppy, you can always hide it with a belt. A belt on top can hide the elastic but allow you to remain comfortable underneath. You can also add a little cardigan on top or a coat and 
you can discreetly hide that elastic waistband underneath that. Also, some elastic bottoms are secretly elastic where you can't actually tell that it's elastic. Like this skirt, for example, has a waistband that's completely elastic. Um, but it doesn't really look like it. If you need to further dress up your elastic outfit, you can dress it up with accessories and shoes. A high heel, for example, can elevate any outfit, whether it's elastic or not. A white sneaker uh, also looks great to me. I think that's a really chic look, especially if you're pairing that with like a silk pant and a linen blouse. A really sophisticated bag, maybe in a shiny leather, I think that would really dress up any outfit as well. Some other ideas are layered necklaces and bangles, something that will just make you look really polished and put together and like you really took a lot of time and thought into your outfit. So hopefully you guys found this video really helpful and that you're feeling inspired to try some of these elevated elastic looks. At the very least, I hope you're willing to at least give elastic a try. If anyone's interested in a video about postpartum or breastfeeding fashion, please make sure to subscribe and leave me a comment down below and I'll get to work on that for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Goodbye!